So right next to Duro, which is a venture-funded biotech company. We're right here. So we are the largest biohacker space in the U.S. now, at 4,000 square feet. Yeah. So welcome. We don't have signs yet. <laughs> so, so, so hey guys, we're here. Uh, and then, yeah, these, these hoods are active here. And I, you know, we're going to be building more lab bays and equipment into here. Uh, we have some some general molecular biology equipment here. We have some robots. And and our aim is really to help scientists with the transition of, you know, you have an idea, and how do you realize that idea, right? So 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 we're helping with that original early challenge of like you have an idea, you think it's it's something you can turn into a product or a service. So how do you do that? So we provide not only the shared lab space and an affordable cost, um, and, and that can be just monthly access, all the way through to scientific uh, support, as well as business support, as well as fundraising support. Well, we met through the bio, Do Yourself Bio movement. We did, yeah. And, uh, DIY Bio. And uh, we all had experience, a bunch of us had had experience with BioCurious in the South Bay. Yeah. But one of the problems with that is that we all live here in the East Bay. Yeah. And we would spend, I would get to spend four or five hours a week working in the lab down there, and I'd be driving six or seven hours a week yeah you know? but this is a different this is a different direction yeah. than the typical do your spouse space yeah. um, is do it yourself but we're looking to incubate companies and and do things that will actually sort of impact the bioeconomy it's also a collaboratory or collaboration space so that when you don't have necessarily the right way to interrogate nature um, there are people that are like oh you know what you could do this and you're like oh, what a great idea but what every biomedician needs is they need to go into lab and they actually need to see if they're right. And if they are, then they really made a discovery. And so that's, that's what, that was sort of phase one, but going to lab and confirming these results, that's what's really going to be proud. So, and so that's going to take a preliminary result. So it's connecting that's, the digital and yeah. the real world that's right. together, right? And there, was, there was once... Um, okay, so I'm just going to start it. There was once a lab that I was in that they, 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 they didn't balance the centrifuge, right? Right. They they basically they turned it on and the centrifuge went out the window, but not sorry not out the out the wall. It, it was going so fast it broke through the wall, and like one of the things that they had it just went straight through the wall. And then they they have they have uh, I can't remember which lab this was that I was at, but they have a little a little thing. And I asked them what what the whole what the there was like an area of the wall that was painted differently to all the rest, and it said just a reminder make sure your centrifuges are balanced right. So they kept that there. That for centrifuge all, is like yeah. 100 times. All future undergraduate one, and graduate I just students. want to let you know before I yeah. press this button that there's no danger of that. Yes. Happening. Yeah, that, that, one's, was, uh, that one's balanced. This one's balanced because it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the max right there. Yeah, that's like Jupiter.